for less than $700, this is what you get for a common room in Singapore. So in this video, I will show you a room tour and also share some tips and tricks when you're moving to a place in Singapore. So before I start, I just want to talk about why I decided to move. I wanted to move because um, I wasn't very comfortable living with my parents anymore after I'm this old and uh, usually I work in the living room and now that um, the COVID situation, my parents are at home all the time and uh, I work from home so that's something disruptive for me and so I decided to move. And it was completely voluntary, um, yeah, I wasn't forced to move out or anything, but it's just uh, something I wanted to do. I think that I got this um, room for a very good price because now the rental prices are at a um, heated price. And so given that I get this room for less than $700, I think it's a steal. So when I first saw this unit and I, I actually came in to drop by for viewing, um, immediately I said like, oh, okay, I want to rent this. <laughs> But the, the landlord uh, hasn't even chosen who to rent it to. So that's something funny. So that brings me to my first tip for um, moving out and renting. Always check how many people you are living with before going down to view because no matter how good the picture looks, you still want to know like, first of all, how many people are living there because the price might be cheap but you might be living with five. So actually, uh, one of the listings I saw, uh, it was listed for $1,000 around the central region, but I'm sharing with five other people. So basically, I have to share the toilet with four other people, which is quite insane if you think, if everyone works from home. And tip two is if you're living in your parents' home or whatever, and you are thinking of moving out, uh, I suggest you start selling your clothes. Uh, one good platform is Carousel and yeah, not sponsored by Carousel but yeah, um, before you actually start uh, looking for a room, uh, once the intention is there, you can start to donate or just sell all your clothes because you're not gonna have enough space unless you're a minimalist but for me, I'm not. Like I had, uh, I don't know, maybe like 300 pieces of clothing or even more and I, I only donated like uh, most of them so from the decision I made to move until the day I moved it was only a week so when I signed a contract and um, I moved it was just a one week time frame so it was very quick decision for me when I started to actually wanting to move it was um, maybe in November last year and then I actually made like a pros and cons list of um, whether it's worth it to move because of course you are putting out extra money to fork out every month uh, which could be better used for investments in a sense and then um, there are things like oh the laundry you have to do it yourself that, 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 that sort of pros and cons so um, some tip is also to weigh your pros and cons to see whether you know ultimately moving out is the right decision for you and the fourth tip is you want to check whether your utilities are included because a lot of the times the amount quoted is excluding of utilities so do check out that and my number fifth tip is always have a contract um, so as an actual real estate agent um, you can see here that's my pass um, yeah, do have a contract. You can actually download the contract yourself on the Council of Estate Agencies. But of course, this is usually taken care of by um, the landlord or their agent if they have any. So another tip is nothing really related to renting, but uh, relating to maximize your gains when you pay for rent, right? Um, I like to use the city pay all. Um, so city pay all is actually like an automated payment wiring system where you can set like how much you want to transfer to the party but on top of that you will still earn like your miles or cashback depending on what you choose from so that's some way to maximize your credit card benefits because usually you only get the miles or cashback when you swipe the card right but uh, with city pay all just by paying a two percent fee you can actually get mouse on top of your recurring payments so that's another tip if you are a credit card user and you like to maximize your mouse or cashback or whatever but 
I recommend you go for miles because that's the best value for credit cards. Uh, now back to the room. I want to talk about why I chose this uh, particular unit. So, so this is in the northeast area, but um, when I was looking for a, a room to rent, I was considering of the location itself, whether it's near to the MRT and whether there's like food around it. And by the way, this is a condominium unit. And for $700, a condominium unit, this is definitely a steal. Uh, yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna find more steals, like please contact me as uh, your representative agent. Although you don't need one, so this is somewhere near uh, the heartland, and I don't have to even cross the road to reach the train station, which is something that I was immediately sold when I saw the location on the map. And then when I came down to view, and I realized that oh, there's actually Anytime Fitness right below. So I don't even have to step out of the building to access to the gym, which is something really, really convenient. And I just signed up for the gym membership um, a few days ago. And if you look at the room tour later, you'll realize that this is a very, very small room. But the space, uh, I managed to like maximize, or rather it was built to maximize the space. It's time for the room tour. I'm sure everyone is very interested because for less than 700, what can you get in Singapore? All right, so first, if you walk into the room, um, you can see my bags here and my clothes. I'm gonna rewear them. And then I have my broom, which is a magic clean, very, very, very good choice to clean the room. And then my laundry basket and the tripod I used to film. And then, oh, Sorry, that's also my camera equipment there. And then, da da da, this is a leather. So, this leather brings you up to the bed here. So, this is my wardrobe a double sliding panel wardrobe. Um, it's actually, I would say it's uh, floor to ceiling, but it kind of stops there um, because I think the aircon. Um, yeah, the aircon system is inside, so yeah. My clothes here, and more stuff there. Just hide everything here. And then I actually hook this up for like a, actually hook this hat here for a decoration piece. And then when you turn, you will see this is actually what's below the bed. So what's below the bed, please let me wear my slippers first. Thank you, my Muji. Um, no, my Uniqlo slippers are very comfortable. And when you turn, you can see this is working station. This is the sofa, and this is bed. This is just a random um, shelf, I would say. This is, this is my facial products. Um, yeah, but if you take them away, uh, you can see that I actually bought my coffee table books here as well. I think it doesn't matter whether you have space or not but there's always place for <laughs> coffee table books and you have my perfume and like behind all the stuff. Oh, uh, Getting a fragrance diffuser is also quite important because of the humidity and like as a human staying in the room it will be very stuffy and full of your smell. So this really helps and this is from To Be Calm. This is all the shit, basically all the shit. So I have this like pull out tray that I can actually easily access to all the things inside. You realize it's quite tall, so I have to take it down and then put it on the table to use. Which is also quite a smart way to use. I mean, and then the rest is like, I can't, I just throw it here because I can't, I can't find a place to put it. This is the view. Da -da -da -da. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell where I am, but um, yeah, this is the view. So I just wanted to share a little bit about how I actually got all my stuff. So most of the things on my table, they were already from my house. But for this jam over here, so for this comfortable couch over here. This is actually not a sofa, like what I say, although I say sofa, 
Um, this is actually a single foldable bed. I actually bought it second hand from Crozel. So it retails around $240 on Hitman. But I got it for like $90. But I just have to, you know, bring it over to here. And I'm gonna show you how actually this can be used. This is a super nicely fitted because if you realize there isn't much space with um, like for the bed. So if you can see, I can actually convert this into a single sized bed. Um, I'm supposed to extend the backrest, but uh, even if I extend the backrest, the width of the room is too small, so I cannot actually fully extend this bit. But either way, I just like to, you know, rest on it sometimes without actually climbing up all the way to the bit to rest. Which is also cleaner because I haven't showered sometimes, right? But right here. Next purchase that I think is essential for people that, you know, moved house is this uh, water purifier. So this is a water jar with a purifier, they call it the pitcher inside that purifies water because I think when you are living with many people and if they don't have like an inbuilt water filter, then your water supply is going to be, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get your water. But if you are staying home, you need to stay hydrated so you need to drink a lot of water and you can't always keep the water boiling. I mean, you boil the water is also quite a waste of electricity and that adds up to the utilities. And so this is a real great buy. I actually got it for maybe $50 and each filter costs about maybe $20 or like $15 to $20. So this brand is from the Leica brand, Italian brand. Like and you know, all I have to do is just open tap, pour the water into this, see the water goes down, and just purifies the water. <laughs> yes, I would say the downside of this room is obviously the bed because you have to climb up the stairs, which can be quite tiring. I mean, now I'm really like panting a little bit, but. Yeah, this is what you get for space efficiency and um, previously like there were actually three beds in this room before like the current owner bought it so um, there's this bed below it was another bed and then was another there was another hidden pull out bed so they removed it and they managed to put a table there and i managed to buy my sofa so that's great uh, we can see i can brought a piece of home here as well and uh yeah uh, I mean the the difficult thing is like also cleaning like I have to throw all the dirty hair or whatever down and then I just clean it from below I actually place this um, stick over here which I can which I can clip and watch my show um, at night although so far I haven't done it yet because I'm pretty busy um, but this is really quite an essential and I think I have managed to use it like perfectly. I mean, I vision it and it came true. So I kind of still can reach for these things here. And I can even actually reach out to the blinds and close them. So there's no issue. So if you just look down, how high. All right, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it. Uh, I had fun sharing with you how I actually utilize the space how I make it feel as though it's a tiny home of mine. Yeah. I hope to see you on my next video. Don't know when will it be released, but thank you for watching. Do like, comment, and subscribe, and i see you next time.